Don't underestimate the importance of nutrition pre and post farrowing. Uh, it's critical to the success of the sow and to the piglets, and it's something that can't be marginalized and must be executed extremely well every day for world-class performance. I'm Kendall Weger. I'm part of the technical services reproduction team in North America. The peripartum period is just leading up to farrowing, so during this time it's really important that we're supporting things like fetal growth, mammary development, and colostrum production. And during this time, we really want to feed the sow the same thing that she was receiving in gestation. The goal is to increase the frequency of feedings once she moves into the farrowing house. If she was receiving four pounds in gestation, for example, we could feed that over three feedings once she's in the farrowing room. And this is the time where it's really important that we identify any non-eaters or sows that aren't drinking, because after she farrows, it's gonna to be too late. Um, she's gonna be tired from the farrowing process and it's gonna be a lot more difficult to get her learning how to drink and eat. During lactation, we really wanna maximize that feed intake. From the moment she farrows, she should be on full feed, unrestricted, and we wanna make sure that that feed is always fresh. Uh, and don't forget the importance of water intake. We wanna make sure that she has not only access to the water nipple, uh, that she knows how to use it, and also that we're providing the proper water flow rate for the sow, so we'd like to see two liters per minute for each female. And also don't forget how important the environment is in the room. If we have a really hot farrowing room or we're not getting that room cooled down quick enough, we're not encouraging that sow to maximize her intake. By executing the proper feeding management protocols, uh, not only are we gonna set the sow up for success during this lactation and have high quality wean pigs, but we're also setting the sow up for success in her subsequent litter performance. If you need any more information or resources, please check out our website. We've got guidelines, uh, the, the updated nutrition guidelines, as well as a new dynamic feeding program tool online that customers can use to ind individualize their feeding program. Um, or you can reach out to your local PIC representative. <laughs>